everything about this bill is rotten to the core. This is a bill as if written and held by the devil himself. Uh, th this takes all sorts of decisions that the federal government really has no business making. It takes them away from the states, it makes them right here in Washington, D.C. by Congress. Utah Senator Mike Lee on H.R. 1. This is a bill that Democrats call, quote, for the people act. Now, Republicans worry that it will uproot constitutional election laws and actually force Americans to support candidates that they oppose. Joining me now is Tennessee Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn. Great to see you, Senator. Good what to I'm see what you. I'm referring to is a provision in HR1 that allows your taxes to increase a $200 contribution by a factor of 6 to 1. So if essentially your taxes would be used to increase the funding of a candidate that you oppose. I mean, that's that's yeah. absurd. It is absurd. And, of course, this is a clearly unconstitutional bill. But, you know, David, that didn't stop them with Obamacare, even though the court said, yes, this is unconstitutional. Yes, it is a tax. They kept moving ahead anyway. And what you see in H.R. 1 is they are going to not just allow but command candidates to take federal money. What they're trying to do is to take the voter out of the process. And they are trying to take control of not only the voting process, but also the electoral process. Yeah, they're taking the voter out, except they want the voters' money. It's, uh, that's yes. the bottom line, because that's what's going to be paying for candidates that we don't necessarily support. It's crazy. Another right. piece of H.R. 1 demands that anybody who gets a driver's license is automatically enrolled to vote. Now, we know a lot of states allow illegal, illegal immigrants to get driver's license. So would they automatically be able to vote? According to H.R. 1, it would allow people, it would force the state, not just allow, but would force a state to gather names from all of these various databases that they have. Driver's license being one of those, uh, benefits being another of those. So they gather all of these databases and they put them into the voting rolls. Now, what it does do is forbid the state from checking that voter roll for accuracy. Hmm. So if you gather all these databases, you have names of people who may be deceased, maybe they moved out of state, maybe they're not in the country legally, they're still in the voter roll anyway. And guess what happens? Because they're going to institutionalize mail out voting in this bill, make it a requirement. Right. You gotta do it, everybody gets one. All of these names that are put into this database are going to get a ballot whether they like it or not, whether they want it or not, whether they plan to vote or not. Yeah. And what that does is to institutionalize ballot harvesting Bingo. because somebody can come pay you, take your ballot, vote for you because there is no ID requirement. You can't do ID requirements. Those are forbidden. Mm. And you cannot do signature verification on a ballot. So 